Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's Wednesday, which means it's a Blood Bowl uh, video today. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It's the rematch between me and Barry. So it's the Dark Elves versus uh, Nurgle. So it's the Rotten Raiders. And we've gone back to the old format because what it was, it seemed to be a lot of problems with the upload like it was losing a lot of um, audio so until I can find a way of fixing that uh, we're going back to this old style so I hope you enjoy um, at the end of the video I'm going to give you a big big thanks to the Ron the Gaming Club and I'm going to put their information up but while you're waiting for that information enjoy the show Right, end of Nurgle, turn one. Uh, sweaty McSweat, my has got the ball and he's running forward. We've got a few players down. Pesco didn't move, but somebody tripped and landed on their face. And he is now stunned. So, I will try and get enough players back to be able to take it out of that big guy's hands. So, it's into my turn one. Official turn one. Mm. Let's see what we can do. Right then, guys, end of Dark Elves turn one, and I'm already down one revo because I had this guy, Mia, dodging, trying to make space. My runner tried to tackle, took a double skill to begin with, re rolled. And it was a both down, so it's not my day, I don't think. So we're going into Nurgle turn two, and yeah, just take full advantage of this banner. <laughs>
End of Dark Elves turn two, and we've got a pest to go down. He can do it, got a player down because he thought he was clever by taking on a bigger guy. But that was last one off. Before that, we tie up the fast players because we've knocked the bloater down. But the ball is loose. So, going into Nurgle turn three, and yeah, you got to try and recover the ball now, haven't you? I have indeed. Right then, guys, it's Nurgle turn three, and got to play it down. Got a few players tied up. A few fast players down. Mm -hmm. But we've had a little bit of a scrum going on for the ball by you. So it's still all to play for. And going into my turn three. So I've just got to try and secure the ball now. Mm. And stop Nurgle from getting a try. Right. End of Dark Elves turn three. And no gets no glory by I've knocked himself down. Someone's got up and he's 10 to 3 people. There's someone out in the open. Two people dodged by you. And a ganged up holding the ball. Which has meant that not only have I got one person knocked out, one person injured. We put a rotter, was it? Yeah. We put a, a bloater, bloater on his backside and in the box. And we also pushed a testicle out into the crowd, so he's gone crowd surfing for a bit. So we've got Nurgle turn three, turn four, sorry, and it's time to recover the ball. Right, end of Nurgle turn four, and we've still got players down. We've still got people over the ball over there, but this ugly mug have turned up. These two are having a lovely chat. But, yeah, what happened there, Black? Uh, both down. I'm the block. Yeah, so, fortunately for me, I was standing, but unfortunately I couldn't get him off the pitch. So it's my turn four, and, yeah, it's time to shift this ball up the pitch. Right, we've got Dark Elves turn four. Pestigo and the Blorter are down. Lord is still down, but these guys are uh, tied up. We've got a Blitzer and a Dark Elf are in defence. We've got three people trying to make their way up together. And my strength four runner is trying to hold back the tentacle mass. Mm -hmm. We're still quite close to a lot of people, but yeah, we... We got most of our bases covered for actual running space, so I think we're all right. But we're still too close to other players for my liking. So going into Nurgle turn five, let's we'll see what they're going to do on the defense. Right, Nurgle turn five, and look, people having disagreement by here. People being blocked, trying to maneuver through. This. Rot bag there, blitzed my runner, and then I've caught up with my two players that are protecting the ball. And then we've got this handsome little fu uh, fucker there. So, it's going into Dark Elves turn five, and then we've both got all the heroes. Hmm. We could have two really, really quick turns, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to try and get up this pitch as fast as I can. Hmm. So, be back to you within probably about 10 seconds. It was literally 10 seconds. It's end of my turn five. Everyone's up, moved, turned over. The Dark Elf Witch thought she was clever coming in from the side, but thanks to Frenzy, it was two dice, uh, body picked, and he wouldn't go for the pow. <laughs> Funny that, isn't it? So it's going into Barney's turn six, and we've got to hold under the ball for dear life. Right then, Nurgle turn six, and Nurgle is on the pushback. Mm -hmm. So everyone's getting tied up by you. 
everyone's heading towards Port Hur. Beastie Boy has uh, tried to blitz, but he just pushed. And it's a nice little precarious situation for him. But he's got pests to go, and you've got to, to back him up. So it's down to me on my turn six to try and get that ball out. Right then, end of Dark Elf, turn six, and people have got up, they can go up. And as you can see, the only thing that's changed is these two people down. That's because my my runner pushed, uh, pushed him over, and then trying to dodge out, this guy landed on his face. Mm. But I'm not happy because I'm still too close to these two so according to turn seven still nil nil still no rerolls so yeah this is going to be a draw i think at the end of this uh, this half let's see if barry can prove me wrong right then guys end of nurgle turn seven and as you see the ball is out and i'm looking a bit, a bit worse off now because i'm three players down and all tied up this side, tied up in the middle, tied up over there, so it's not like I can get the ball anytime soon. Ball axe. Right then guys, end of Dark Elves turn seven. The big guy is close to the side. We're trying to tie up, people trying to run to the ball. Idiot trying to win, but the guy in the stomach. And we've got a few people pushed over, but couldn't get anything better than not breaking their armour. So, my rolls are pretty useless this week. Ah. Right then, so it's going into Nurgle turn 8. Sure. Right guys, end of 8 and first half. I'm not going to try anything fancy because I've got too many players down. i got a few players out. A few people are rocking out in the dugout and I'm not happy about it. But it's the end of the first half, it's still nil nil, it's still everything to play for. So it's time to set back up, time to go get a drink, see if we can get players back on the pitch. Um, yeah, just got to try and do something in the second half. Right then guys, we're into the second half and I've gone into my turn, picked up the ball, trying to make some headway on the wing. I am... Three players down. We've game effects have been changing weather, so at the moment we've got very sunny, which is a minus one on all throws. And yeah, I've got to play it down because I try to be clever. But so play for. It's going into Nurgle turn one of the second half, and yeah, let's see if I can hold on to the ball longer than two minutes. Mm. Right then, guys, end of Nurgle turn one, and... Ah, what did you do? Double scales, double scales. Do you use a re-roll mm -hmm. to put your player on his ass? Correct. And you picked up this player where? I did. Thankfully, I did it before. Yes. Right, end of turn one. Right, end of Dark Elves turn two. You got... Uh, Pestle down. Not too bad, we've got a rotter. Game's last words. We've got players pushing forward. Got a pest to go close to the line. And it's just trying to keep the ball. Trying to stay at a good distance away from Barry and his, and his bloaters. But yeah, it's going into Nurgle turn two. Let's see if you can roll better than Double Scout. Right then, end of Nurgle turn three. And we got a few little fights breaking out across the pitch. Two people struggling on the uh, line number there. Uh, Fatty trying to chat up the girls down there. But it's going into my turn three and we've got to try and make a bit of headway. Considering we've got three extra players, I haven't really made a bit of a difference, is it? So, not at all. So, yeah, let's hope that we can hold on to the ball. Right, end of Dark Elves turn three. And trying to keep 
if I can beast an ogre over there, out the way. And yeah, just trying to make a bit of opening. Which elf failed me this week? Couldn't throw the top for you. So the ball's been fumbled. I've got a few guys loose. But Nurgle is on the run now. So thankfully there's no rerolls. And I've just used one. But I don't think that's gonna stop him this week. Right. End of Nurgle turn three. And we've got a few people tied up here. People approaching the ball now. Pesco's got the ball, so I'm going to try and catch that bastard. And I think he's realised I was trying a bit too hard in his backfield. So, Dark Elves turn four. And we're going to try and stop the score. Right, Dark Elves turn four. And we're still tied up by her. We are tied up by here. We've got some free players by her. Pesco's down. But sadly not in the crowd. Ball is loose. Trying to chase back for it. But yeah, it's not going well. Oh, I love a player free player. What do you do? No, it's going into no return four. Mm -hmm. And yeah, got to try and stop him getting any close to the line. Right, no go to four. I keep going to say six. Nothing's happened over this end because Barry rolled a attacker down but for all that they're picking on the witch elf so she's got a uh, she's got to do a lot now to get it back the ball so went into my turn and yeah what the fuck am i gonna do right uh dark elf to five and it was pretty useless picked up a few players Moved one in support, but she got up just to fall back down. So it's going into Barney's turn five, and I think this is going to be the touchdown drive. End of Nurgle turn five, and yep, no lot happened. I got some players down. Well, actually, yeah, I have a little runner down. Thanks, Baz, you bastard. So I went. With four players on the side. The elf is down, but as you can see, there's now a touchdown. Four bars. So we're gonna set back up, kick off, and see what's happening. Right, we've set back up and we're just about to start Dark Elf turn six, but we had a pitch invasion, which means we've got a few players down. All stunned. But it looks worse, I think, because I'm at a three-player disadvantage anyway. So, let's just try and make it, you know, not as bad as what it could be. So, we'll, let's start off turn six, and let's get this uh, ball down the pitch. Right, end of my five-second turn six. Turn three players over. Which elf, absolutely useless this game. On a roll one, just... Kick the ball further away. So there's no chance of the Dark Elves doing anything, I think, at the moment because they're all playing like fucking numpties. So it's going into Nurgle's turn six. Right there, guys, it's Nurgle turn six over. So didn't get a lot done. They turned a few players over. Uh, Volta tried to be clever, catch up with the uh, Dark Elf and landed on his face so we're going into turn seven and i'm gonna be honest i'm not feeling the confidence he ain't with me this week so yeah see you in about 10 seconds right guys 10 seconds over and a few people got up tried to play tactically failed miserably which I've tried to throw the ball, ended up throwing it backwards. Been an absolute tosser this game. And I think that was my one and only chance gone. We're going into Nurgle turn seven and I'm gonna just be with it. Right then guys, end of turn seven and it's all on Pete Tong this game. 
this round. I still got, I got players coming back next game, so not be too bad. Got a week to week to recover because uh, you'll be playing, playing Griff in the next game. So I've just got to survive turn eight. So here we go. I think guys in the game both at turn eight, which was kind of miserable. Mm -hmm. I, it was easy for game. Nuffo was not on our side. First loss, so I can't complain. Still ahead on the points when it comes to the league, but we're gonna we're gonna do our man of the match and everything now. And then next game we will tell you the outcome. And that's it everybody, that's the end of sport, end of game. 1-0 to Barry and his Rotten Raiders. It was a very good game. I know you couldn't see it in the catch-ups, but it was a very hard-fought game. Felt a little bit uphill on occasions when you're three players down, but that's poor management on my behalf. Barry is a absolute stormer of a player, so you've always got to bring your 80 game when you play him. So, at the moment, i got a few players missing a game, which is very unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, it's I, I got bad moons next, so hopefully I can save some money to get some extra players. But it's going to be Griffin Barry next, so that's going to be another stormer of a game, because I know Griffin has been drafting a few extra players, so that's one to watch out for. Anyway, guys. Like I said, it's the end of it. And I want to say a big thank you to the Ron the Gaming Club. As you can see, I have put a poster up ready so you can read it as I'm uh, waffling on. So, Gaming Nights are on a Sunday, which is a uh, 40k AOS Blood Bowl, which we are always there for. So, always pop, always uh, welcome to pop in and see the uh, see the group, have a chat, see and see what you think of the gaming group in general. Thursday nights are board games and RPG nights, so at the moment I know there's an ongoing D&D &D campaign, and yeah, it's got a nice big crowd, and if you want to be part of them, get a hold of them. The usual suspects on social media are Twitter, Instagram, and they're on Facebook, so hit them up, tell them that the noob sent you, and I just want to say again, like I always say at the end of a Blood Bowl video, I want to say a big thank you to them, because... Without these guys allowing us to uh, to uh, record the shows there, we wouldn't have any content for you. So, big thank you to everyone there. Thank you to everyone that wants to participate. And if you guys want to come in and have a bit of fun and play anybody from the club, email, uh, email them on their email address. Or you can email me and I'll pass on the message. My email address is down below. So... Yeah, it'd be good good to meet you guys. It'd be good to have a game. Perhaps, you know, we can have a Blood Bowl night. It's up to you guys. But, before I go, uh, we've got a PayPal. Uh, link is below. We've also got Teesprings, which I am unable to link at the moment because YouTube won't allow me. Uh, I've gone over that previously, but I'm not going to go over it again. And yeah, keep uh, keep the reminder bell ticked, guys, because we need uh, your views, to be honest. And I, if you could share this amongst your friends, it'd be fantastic. So, thank you again, guys, and I shall see you in the next video.